was working on her laptop. It's already 8 a.m. She started working in early morning. She looked up as someone was knocking on the door. She allowed that person to come inside. She looked up and saw her secretary, also best friend Rose. Rose, Miss Kim, the meeting is going to start soon. You reply while still working on a laptop. Why no need to be formal when there is no one? Rose, all right. Then are you busy? Why yeah? Rose, you work so hard. You may get stressed. If you keep working like this, you are even getting dark circles. Why I know, but work come first. Rose sighed, cause she know whatever she say not gonna affect her. So she just say bye and left. Why and also close her laptop as her work was done. She leaned on a chair. She squeezed her forehead. Then she opened the drawer to take painkillers. This is the third medicine she is taking today. And not just today. She did that so many times. Why and has a dream that she will make her company the top in the world. This. Is the only dream why I'm living for. Then her view went toward the marriage photo of you and Tim. She just sighed and smiled a little, thinking about Tim, even though he is a bit cold to you, but you still love him, and he also. No, he did also did love you, but tried to tell you he care for you a lot, but you never show that you are tired or stressed. You always carry your. Pretty smile when he's round. He even asks you if you are fine, and that you don't have to work as he also own a company, which is famous as yours. But you didn't listen to him, as you don't want to be a burden on him. Then you stand up and went to meeting. Times keep at home. He opened the door knob of the house, but before that, he took a deep breath and smiled. Then he went inside, and as usual. See Taeyong sitting on couch. You think is he is waiting for me? He looked toward you as he heard door knob sound. As soon as he saw you, he got up. Why did you again eat something from outside? You ask as you know he has a weak intestine, so you always make him food for him. Taeyong, just go and rest. I don't want to eat. When he said that, suddenly his stomach growled. He quickly touched it, like it going to stop growling. You chuckled and say, "Wine, wait for some time. I cook something for you." You said while going to our kitchen, but he stopped you, telling you to rest. But as being a first daughter of your father, the listen word is not in your dictionary, so you didn't listen to him and went to kitchen. But what you saw make a shock. The whole kitchen was masked. You sighed as you already know what happened. He tried to make food for him itself and again failed. As you don't know how to cook, he just master in washing dishes. You look back and see him scratching his neck. Why? It's all right. I'm not angry. Why are you being worried about me? Taeyong, no, I was not worried about you. I was. Just hungry. Look away. Wine. Oh, I see. Then wait outside. I'm cooking. Wine smiled at the young word. This man don't even know how to lie. Then she start cooking. Wine was feeling little dizzy, but she just shake her head and again start cooking. After some time, she done cooking and serve it in plates. Then she went to living room. You come outside and see Taeyong scrolling his phone. You ran to him and put the plate in front of him. Taeyong, why is there only one plate? I'm not eating. Wan, no, I'm not hungry. I'm going to room first. Finish the food, all right? Taeyong, but before he can complete his sentence, you left from there, leaving him while he just dying. He want to talk to you normally, but he was not able to, cause he always been busy. Than him, you come home late. He want to tell you that he love you. He is just waiting for the right time. He is being called in office to make workers work properly. Being cold has become his habit, which he is trying to leave. And the fact is, it's working. He barely talk coldly to you, and other time. You both didn't get the time to talk, as you have busy schedule. 
wine come out from the bathroom after taking bath in a night suit but suddenly she got the call she follow and look at the caller id it was rose so you pick the call rose why and i'm sorry story please forgive me i won't make such mistake again shouting in one breath why yeah why are you shouting what happened rose actually i forgot to tell you about our new project the customer are going to come tomorrow why what how can you forget such important thing you should Suddenly, Wan felt dizzy and she fell unconscious. Before she can fall, someone hold Wan in his strong, muscular arms. With worried, it was Taeum. He look at the caller ID. He know that Rose is your bestie. So he pick Wan phone and say, Taeum, Rose, what happened? Wan suddenly faint. Rose, what? Oh no, the caller told her not to overwork herself, but she didn't listen to me. Taeyong do something crying i guess it's an anxiety attack as i forgot to tell her about tomorrow meeting the customer are coming from origin to see a product but i forgot to tell her and it take time to complete the ready made files taeyong i take care of it don't worry call cut he pick you up in his arms and place you on the bed he pat your face but it didn't reply each second his worried was growing he touched your forehead it was burning he quickly got up and went to take water and towel he come back and wrapped the towel and placed it on your forehead then he hold your hand he placed towel on your forehead several times after two hours your fever was gone jeong lastly pat your head and stand up from bed next day one pov i wake up and feel something on my head i touch it it was towel i put it aside and sit up then my view went toward my working table taeyong was sleeping while head down on the table i smile at him as he was looking like an angel while sleeping but then i saw my laptop in front of him oh no i have to work i got up from the bed and went to take my laptop i slowly pull it but it make teum awake he look up and smile a little at me uh, is he is really smiling at me thinking this wine blush a little but suddenly stand up teum wine are you all right wine yeah i am fine thanks for take care of me teum thanks for what it's my duty as a husband look away husband am i dreaming or what this word is kind of precious to me hearing it from his mouth make me feel like i'm on cloud 9 don't know what got into me i quickly pack at his cheek making him shock he looked toward me with wide-eyed eye jung what was that blush when i talk to you later i have to turn the important work of mine jung mm, you can rest for some time more the work is done i complete it for you when shock what really but how Taeyong Rose instruct me. Wine, is that so? Thank you. Smile. Then I'll just take a bath to freshen myself. I said while going toward bathroom. But stop. As Taeyong called me, I turned to him. Suddenly he hugged me tightly, making me shock. Taeyong, Wine, please don't overwork yourself. When you were sick last night, I realized how much I love you. I guess it's the right time to tell you. I really, really love you, Wine. And sorry. If my any word ever hurt you, one one breath, I was hella shocked when he say he loved me. Finally, that day come, the day I have been wearing. I look up at him and smile, saying, "Wine, I also love you, and I won't overwork myself again. I promise too."